Kiki. Yeah. I almost started cursing like a sailor because I forgot this is not Patreon. Yeah, we can't <laughs> say f- for like the first couple minutes. Okay. Except that he just did. So now that part just has that that part has to be cut. <laughs> or just oh yeah, never yeah. mind. Never mind. I'm just like, or just because I do all the editing. No, yeah. Forget I everything could, I just said. Yeah, that's what Forget I'm gonna do. I'm everything gonna... I just said. Bless so yeah, we can't curse. And uh you seem like a really cool dude and and I like your vibe. So I'm gonna give you the warning. If your phone goes off at all during the recording, you gotta spin the wheel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I turned I just turned it down though, too. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, just a fair warning. I'm not gonna warn all the guests. No. Well, I mean, I think you might it's probably always just a good idea to say, hey, is your phone off? It's a, This is a podcast. It's not like, you know, it's not like it's a secret that you should be turning your phone off at the, at, during these Yeah, things, this is you know? true. This right. is true. It's it's not an off-the-wall request, right? I get myself in trouble all the time. <laughs> all the time. I just had a fucking... <sighs> last night, we were here for like two hours. And <laughs> it's so embarrassing, but I'm, I love it. I had him do a TikTok dance. Oh, shit. Like one of those like silly white girl TikTok yeah. dances. <coughs> yeah. So he had to, he had to practice, learn, practice, and then record. I crushed like, it. I official. crushed it. Yeah. He, <laughs> was, crushed it. he was, you know, sticking his little toe out. He was doing the hip thing. It was great. <laughs> it was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so awesome. funny. Yeah. Can't wait to see the actual TikTok when it drops. Do you know when that when that actually comes out? You know, does she do it already? Yeah, it's up. Oh wow, it's on our, it's on the the show page. Wow, everybody, run to the the two clouded minds TikTok and check that out. Yeah, very good. Love it. <laughs> Hopefully, by the time they see this, hey friends, it's time for oh, another new episode of sorry. the Two Clouded Minds Show with Fuck. your favorite hosts, Chris. I have a very team <laughs> and Dave. He's falling apart in front of our eyes. Subscribe to the Two Clouded Minds Show on YouTube. <laughs> And everywhere you get your podcast. You like you hit me with the abrupt the abrupt. Yeah, I thought intro. I could I thought I could get there at the end. I thought we were at the, the end of the sentence, I, but I didn't hit the post. I'm sorry. I no, failed. It's okay. I failed. No, no, it's all right. I you, failed. You never really know when I'm gonna hit the button, so you know, that this is just, true. This is true. Yeah, the cold opens are uh, are always a crapshoot. Yeah, especially considering the fact that you were just at that point, you were just like just cursing up a storm. So there was just nothing I could do at that point. I may as well hit the button. Let's get this. I started. figured that was more of a shut up. Let's well, go. Well, I mean, but we are we are kind of on a bit of a time constraint today. That is true. This is true. Uh, first and foremost, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Hello. We are back. It is Wednesday. Yes. Like every Wednesday. I mean, that's what it is. It's like clockwork. We talk about it all the time. We're the most consistent podcast. Yeah, I gloat about at it all the time. Jersey Shore. Dude, every Wednesday, like, like clockwork, an episode comes out. That's right. And it's always the same time. That is. That, that, yeah. I mean, except, <coughs> for, except for the times that it's different times. Because we do a live stream and it's always on a different Yeah, time. that's always a different time. But that's yeah. always fun. That's for like, you know, the real ones know when that, you know. True, true. Now, speaking of real ones, but in a different way, I would like to introduce. This got to be the realest my human friend, I've seen so far. My friend and soon to be your friend, Gutter Christ. Gutter. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing, man? Welcome. Thank you for coming in. Thank you Gutter for Christ. Me. Go ahead, Chris. I I want to. I mean, that's a rad rad name, rad. But I like. Go ahead. Is there an origin story behind that? Yeah. Uh. Well, the first was gutter. I was when I was like a kid. I went out, and got wrecked with the older kids, and uh, passed out on the in the curb while they all went in the store and got snacks. Sick. So they started calling Sick. me gutter boy and gutter. Yeah. Gutter Christ became when I when I I had to make the record label. Okay, name. so I was like, yeah, Gutter Christ goes good <laughs> together. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. So, but real quick, I'm gonna steal your line. 
No, actually, I can't because it really you. I can't say it like you say it. What are you gonna say? Like pretend that nobody knows who you are. Yeah. Okay. This is besides what Davis showed me, the clothes and everything. I really. I want to know. Yeah, you've been introduced in like a roundabout way on this show a couple times. We've referenced, you know, I've referenced you in like, like I said, the clothing because he's he used to wear the hat all the time. He like wore it like through the hat. (laughs) Dude, I Uh, sweated through the hat, like for like and it like broke down. (laughs) I have, I have like giveaway stuff. I still have because I know that you gave me a bunch of stuff at one point to try and take some photos of or whatever. Um. I still have some of that stuff. I have it here in the building. So nice. we've talked about it a couple different times. Is there another hat? I There's a couple of hats. I'm wearing one of the hats right now. Right. So, you know, maybe. I got some stuff over at the, at the spot too. So, well, we, you've already been very kind. I, I we, we, had, we definitely have enough of your stuff. So uh, I'll mail you some more anyway too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. But um, pretend that none of our, our audience knows who you are or like how you started out i mean you mentioned very very briefly you mentioned the record label but like you know give us like the the background the origin story like where you started out and how you evolved to what you're doing right now all right well i mean i started out going to shows always you know like Mm -hmm. all the underground shit hardcore death metal and then uh a friend of mine from town like he got us into like more death metal shit and uh we started helping him. His uh, label's called Necroharmonic Productions. Necroharmonic. Yeah, this dude Roy Fox. That's uh, tough as fuck. Yeah, yeah, he actually we did the first NJ Death Fest with him together too. Okay. So uh, it was all his contacts because he knew all the bands and shit. But yeah, started helping him at first and uh, going out to. He was also booking shows, so he was doing at our local spot Hartley's where we used to always do like mad shows. It's in uh, Kearney, North Arlington, Jersey, and uh. After the last death, after the first NJ Death Fest, he was done with doing shows and he was just focusing on his label and making merch and shit. But I used to go out to Maryland Death Fest with him and help him all the time. And he used to always be like, yo, you got to start your own shit. So then he stopped doing shows. So then I started doing shows and I started a little record label. And then that's why, you know, it turned into Gutter Christ. Mm-hmm. That was probably like 2009. And then I became a real company. I started paying taxes like 2011. Like the company was like, I was Legitimate. making merch and shit. Yeah, I was like, I have to do something here, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, it's only, I mean, I went all different directions with it, but uh, I, you know, it's going better today than it, you know, was when that first started. You know, like it's well, that's, can't that's complain, you know. Yeah, that's definitely good to know that things have been growing and and like. So, what is your <clears throat> biggest focus right now? Because like, is the well, well, let me start this way. Is the record label active and like what are you doing with uh, that? As f- active, I would just call it like a clothing company at this point. I mean, I make merch for all different bands, you know. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. But uh, I don't really uh, make too many uh, releases anymore, you know. Like I'm still selling off like the last CDs that I printed like years ago, you know. Right on. But uh, I, w- I will make some new vinyl eventually with awesome. some of the uh, NJ dudes that I'm friends with and okay. bands that we got projects with. But uh, yeah, mostly just merchandise, really now, you know. Okay, that's really cool. But I've been focusing on too many blunts. It's like my uh, weed T-shirt clothing company, and uh, there you go. we're getting the first action figure of Beazle Bud is the, the no guy on the, on the way. Thing. Yeah, they should be here like around four twenty, hopefully. Nice, Did you- sick. But I don't. Know, I was like making a joke, but I know it's not funny. But people died. But uh, I was like, I hope my figures aren't on that fucking boat that's got smashed oh. into the bridge <laughs> and shit over there. You know? Hey, you never know. Yeah. Supply chain Supply takes a long chain. time to get here. Yeah, from China. That's okay. We're the right kind of podcast for that joke. So. <laughs> right. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah, but shout out to this company, Nuggies. They're the guys that make their own little figures already. This dude is cool as fuck, and uh, mm. he collabing with a bunch of people. We got to get one with him, so. Nice. So he's gonna put your 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 mascot. What's his name? Beazle Bud. Beazle Bud. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's already made like uh. They showed me like the you know the computer the rendering and, and shit. Yeah. That's right. cool. It's got to awesome. stay high on his knuckles and shit. So oh, yeah. I got you know same like me and shit. The figure does. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. I'm definitely copping a figure for <laughs> yeah. sure. Nice. That's we'll my it, next we'll goal too. Studio. Because we have a a giant mask. I have two I've of them, seen actually. it on Instagram, but or, it's fucking. Uh, yeah, did you take pictures of me when I had it too? I don't remember. But, I don't uh, think I've ever seen it in person. Okay, uh, but it's made out of latex, and uh, we had all these hoses connected to the blunts. We were gonna do like a smoke machine and all this shit, but 
anytime I got a kid to wear it, they can only wear it for like two minutes without dying. You know, it's yeah. But uh, there's a place in England. I'm gonna crowdfund it or just you know have to bite the bullet and buy it. But it's like forty five hundred bucks. But it's a uh, uh, authentic like a uh, team fucking uh, mascot, and it can make the head real big. Oh, and it has a helmet like- for the kid. And it has a fan. So it's like you can wear what? it like long distance, dude. You know, like, <laughs> oh my goodness! Because like, I wanted, dude. I was like, I know that will propel us to the next level too. Just I having would, that dude out every at all these events and taking pictures with him, right? Like you always see somebody in like a panda head or yeah. something like that taking pictures. With I would do that for you for free. I would <laughs> run around in that mask for free. So it's free. gonna be like instead of it because I know that the one you have now is like hard. It's like a well, black, yeah, it's like, like real thick uh, latex. Right. Shout out to. Uh, Adam from Graveyard Gallery, he made those for me. He sculpted it and made it and shit. You know? And it's awesome. You got to check it. It's it's on your social media, right? Yeah, yeah. It's on the Smitty Blunts Instagram. Yeah. Um, we'll put the that on the screen. Cool, cool. Um, but so what you're saying is you're gonna get that, but it's gonna be like soft, like a yeah, yeah, like a, look like a real uh, mask, you know, got like fuzzy, oh, like man. a yeah, it comes with like a carrying a case and Muppet shit. Style. Yeah, it's like forty five hundred bucks though. But it, oh my gosh, they're like, yeah, we can do it. They're like, we can. Cheap. We could do it a little cheaper if you want less blunts. I was like, no, I wanted it. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> less blunts. Wait, it's, it's too many blunts. Too many blunts. <laughs> Not yeah. less. Just enough blunts. Yeah, Not less yeah. Blunts. <laughs> that's really funny. Oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah, the you know the the mascot is hilarious. You have yeah, you'll have to check it out if you haven't looked at the social media already. It's it's pretty funny. He's in the. Like we have a. Uh, my boy West Nile, he's a rapper. He's also in the band Razorblade Hand Grenade. He made uh, the theme song for me, and nice. we made a video of it. And I rolled a whole pound of weed for the video. Oh wow! It took me a week to. It took me uh, just two days to grind the weed. I did it by hand with like a little fucking. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you gotta get a whack it. Have you ever seen whack it? Yeah, yeah. They gave me one at uh, when I vended at uh, four twenty. Oh, awesome! Uh, the the four twenty uh, event in uh, Edison. It's right. not on four twenty okay, okay. though, but. It's in September this year. I'm uh, I'm vetting it again. It's in September. Yeah, they actually. I'm uh I'm getting involved with help getting the music talent this year. I've been asking them to let me do it for like two years because they just been getting like local people. Uh huh. So. So you're gonna get a couple of bands. Yeah, I'm gonna see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna call this lady, but uh, I was like, yeah, what kind of budget do we have? She's like, oh, we have all different kind of budgets, but they wouldn't tell me. You know. Like, yeah, I was just gonna ask you, like, do they do they supply if they have a, a cool budget, budget man? I'm gonna try to get somebody <clears throat> cool. You know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously, we want to put metal there because it's like a fucking big, you know, mm-hmm. weed smoking event, you know? So you want to get like reggae and rap, you know? Yeah. Chill out music, you know? Yeah. And so let's talk about that specifically is the putting on shows. So, like, if you had to ballpark it, or do you know how many shows you've put on over the years? I tried to save like every flyer on my Facebook, but uh, I lost hand of it after a while. But, uh, Easily over 200, you know? Uh-huh. What all goes into, like, it starts with an idea, then you got to pick a venue, or do you have a set amount of venues that you can choose from? Do you yeah, have I got a few. Venue? I like, mean, at this point, I got a bunch of venues uh, I can do, you know, between Philly, New York, and Jersey, you know? And then you just reach out. And to- everybody helps out each other in the scene. Everybody's pretty cool, you mm-hmm. know? Like, I help a lot of people get, you know, spots by me, and then... Uh, people return the favor do you ever yeah. like cold call bands or like yeah i mean i'll write them if i never you know mm-hmm. usually somebody knows them at this point you know somebody because i know so many people so yeah. but i mean there's only two kind of bands there's either bands that you reach out to or bands that you got to hit their booking agent you know yep, yep and yep. i don't usually i just booked the whole nj death fest without talking to one booking agent that's good and it was sold out both days you know fuck yeah but I mean, sometimes they're necessary evil. I'm doing New York Death Fest now, and I already got a booking agent, one booking agent band. But everybody's been begging for this band, so I can't say who they are yet because uh, they're going to be playing around soon. Oh, nice! And but when, I can, is, I'm when up, is that show? That is, uh, it's going to be August 10th and 11th at the Meadows in uh, Brooklyn, and then uh, there's an after party on August 10th, which is Saturday night. Uh, four bands at the Kingsland in Brooklyn, like a few blocks away. Okay, cool. So that'll be like discounted if you already have the Death mm-hmm, Fest ticket. Mm-hmm. This, yeah, this show will be way before that. That'll so. be NY Death Fest 8, yeah, August 10th and 11th. Make sure you get your tickets. Go. Yeah. Go get them. Yeah, tickets ain't up yet, but uh, the, I'm going to start announcing the lineup soon. Ooh, so yeah. So, okay, so we'll say it now and then we'll say it again at the end. 
because we're talking a lot about these things and you have all these different avenues, like what are the best ways to get at you on social media? Like where should on people be media, going? You can to find me on Facebook, out? Instagram, at, uh, on Facebook, I'm Anthony gutter on uh, Instagram. I'm gutter the Christ. And I got, you know, I got like fucking five Instagrams, but gutter the Christ is my main one, you know? Okay, so gutter the Christ, and then that's where you'll find too many blunts. That's where you'll find yeah, yeah. Like, all if the different Yeah, if you go there, it's linked to everything. I don't know if you just it has all the links in my awesome. bio. And you stay active and answer DMs and stuff. Yeah, or? definitely. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I spend like twenty minutes talking to somebody, and then they make a three hundred dollar order from the website. You know, like sometimes th- people need that to know there's somebody real on the other end of the fucking computer you know like right. yeah and I'll, like, I'll go live and pack people's orders sometimes people i'll like, give you buy something right now i'll pack it for you and i'll give you a free gift you know i pack their order right that's in front dope. of them while i'm smoking weed and chill, doing my work yeah, anyway yeah, yeah. Yeah. that's dope that's, that's when i go live is when i'm sitting doing my ebay you know so i'm killing two birds at least i'm working and i'm like communicating with everyone mm-hmm. yeah and now so Again, like with the back to going back to the putting on shows and stuff, right? Yeah. Um, is there how hard is it to like because you said there's some bands with booking agents and some bands without booking agents and whatever the case may be? Like, uh, is it difficult to to meet? new bands to contact new bands like what are the challenges in like not just having the same bands play at your at your show i mean there's always a lot of bands like looking to play i mean i just try to like check them out first before i say yes you know okay but uh yeah there's no shortage of bands you know but uh i mean if you want bands that are you know new or you want like i'm not really booking too much local shows anymore i'm gonna just try to stick to doing like the big fest and uh okay you know i do bigger bands once in a while but uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I will always do the local shows when it's like we got to do it for somebody because we do a lot of benefit work too. You know, like mm-hmm. we help everybody in the scene, like any kind of, you know, we did shows from like getting people bail money to helping somebody's father had a heart attack, you know, somebody's house burnt down, yeah. funeral expenses more than once. Right on. Helping, we did a show to help uh, somebody take, their kids away from somebody else. The sister was going to take over them, but had to get a lawyer and all this stuff. Oh, wow. Cause the kids were in a bad situation. Yeah. He's uh he's, the, he's like the, the local, not the local, but like a uh, small town hero. Yo, you know I became, I mean? it's funny. I named it gutter Christ and I became the gutter Christ though too. Cause we're like the, you know, I like to say that now. I'm like, you're the Christ of the streets, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's like, it's very true because it's, you know, it's apt. I should yeah. say it's very apt because you know, you are actually, you know, doing exactly that there's people who are in this this need who really don't have any place to turn and somebody who you know admittedly when when people will probably see you like walk past you in the street they're like you know clutching their purse a little yeah, bit i forget tighter. what i look like sometimes and people are and then i realize i'm like oh that's why i'm like what right. the fuck are they all move nobody's sitting next to me on the bus do i get that all the time <laughs> i get that all the time <laughs> Yeah. The first question. Yo, the like bus will some, be packed and I'll be the only person with a seat next to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a blessing and a curse. It really yeah. is. I've gotten asked, uh, you know, they'll, they, hey, doing them, Chris, whatever. How many years have you done in jail? Like, <laughs> not even a day, friends. <laughs> not even a day. Yeah. See, well, that's a ridiculous question to ask somebody, Yo, first of all. You think like more people like would not want to talk to me though, but I, I swear to God, like the craziest people it's always the, want to talk to me. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. The, you the, can't walk in the supermarket. <clears throat> meaning what? Like the at literally the crazy crazy people? Yeah, come up and like grab me, like, yo, they touch my tattoos, like just start talking to me like I know oh. them and shit. <laughs> like, yo, I Dude, know. it's real. Like pe- Really? It's like why? It, it's not three D, it's not you know, this, it's I don't like have a, dermals. Like you can't. There's no texture to it. That's really weird that people yeah. would just like walk up to you and start touching you. Yeah, I, I didn't even know that that was a yeah, yeah. thing. Yeah, people are. I don't know. It's like I feel like it's like out of touch older people. I always joke with my friends too. I'm like, when we go to the bar. It's like the loudest guy in the place wants to like be next to me then too and talk to me. <laughs> I'm like, what? What did I do to yeah. deserve this? You know? Yeah, it's so true. It's so <laughs> true. I get, yeah, it's, it's, it, that's pretty interesting. It's, a, <laughs> it's just like a beacon, you know what I mean? It's like a shining beacon. And it's, and moths it's, to the they want to be like, uh, like, 
like we're like, all right, yeah, if anything kicks off, we're here together. Now. <laughs> like what? Yeah, that's kind of. And it, it's it's to try to most, buddy up with like the craziest the, looking guy in the room. Or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's the most bizarre thing ever. That's it's, great. It's nuts. It really is. That's, it's comical. That's right. I mean, you know what's nice though? You get you get to make a lot of new friends that way. Yeah, yeah but right? it's a breath of fresh people. air hearing that Someone come out of somebody it. else's mouth. It re- like. I mean, I, I fucking always befriend a homeless guy outside the show and end up having him chill with us or you bring him in the show sometimes, too. Right you know? That's the place usually don't like that, you know? It's un- it unlocks. You're bringing some smelly dude in the bar with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, you know, drink, man, he's please. exactly. He's thirsty. Come on. He's never seen a. I would like to show him that, too. Like, he's like standing there seeing a mosh pit now. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yo, have have Chris? Have you been to a hardcore show lately, or you know, have it's you, a been, metal show lately? It's been a while since I've been to a real hardcore show, like a very long time. Yeah, I'm talking decades. People I, still getting punched in the face. Yeah, it gets pretty crazy. Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, sorry. Over at no, it's uh, okay. Over at Salty's, it's gonna get crazy, you know. For yeah, three, five. so first of all, Anthony, you wanna you wanna you wanna join us over there? Anthony's Anthony just got here. He's gonna join us at, in, the, cool. in the guest chair. Um, He's late, so he has to spin. Have the you wheel. met Anthony before? I'm not sure, but this is my buddy Yo, Anthony. Listen, Anthony, this is great. tell him he's because he's late. He has to spin the wheel. Oh, Do shit. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Break his balls. Whoa. What's up, Flava? <laughs> so, welcome to the hot box. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, welcome to the hot box. <laughs> so I have a question. I mean, this this question is gonna be. This question is going to be. Yeah, you are. You already said you got to spin the wheel because you're late. Wow. Listen, I feel like I'm the ultimate. Oh, sorry. (laughs) I feel like I'm the ultimate person that gets chosen to spin the wheel. It's like. I'm like, this dude's got to spin the wheel. We gave our guest a rundown of the wheel rules, like his phone and stuff. He. He's the one. He said, yo, he's late. He's got to spin that wheel. That's what he said. You heard and it. that's, I, I, I don't know it. if you were properly introduced. That's Gutter Christ. Gutter Christ. With a name with Christ in it. So I would, yeah. I don't know. I would spin that fucking wheel. <laughs> yeah, you would say that. I crushed that TikTok dance, didn't I? Did uh, you see the TikTok, Anthony? I, I liked it. Oh, okay. I'm cool. A, I'm I haven't a, seen I'm a it player. yet. I haven't seen it yet. You haven't seen it yet? I didn't watch it on TikTok, no. I saw, I was here for it, but I didn't watch the TikTok. But anyway, get, getting back to what we were talking about with Gutter. Um, befriending homeless people and bringing them into shows, which is super <laughs> rad, super like that community. Yeah, from an outsider looking in, like they're beating the fuck out of each other. It's all <laughs> love. It's all love. We're gonna be well. We potentially might go over to the show tonight because apparently a friend of mine is in the band now. Okay. So this conversation is gonna be a little out of date. This will have already the show will have already passed the show by the time was this, amazing. By right. the way, it's Fury of Five. <laughs> Fury of Five, right? Yeah. Is there any other bands playing, or is it pretty much? Oh just yeah, it's uh, Blackest Dawn. Is uh, Chris from Shadow Realms' new band? Okay. Uh, Tear Gas, Jersey hardcore band. Uh, Demise, it's like their first show in like, I forgot how long, like a long time. Okay. And there's a couple other bands I forgot. Who and then it's Fury of Five is like the headline. Yeah, Fury of Five's headline. Actually, they're filming and a now, video over there, I think around like five or four thirty or something. Nice. Is Rob, Rob's in the band now? Yeah. Yeah. Shrine. <laughs> yeah. He's nice. over there. That's funny. I was already chilling with him for a minute. We went over and tr- I got like, uh, they let me set up a merch table today. So I got a merch. Yeah, order. got a. Oh, that's awesome. So now you want it? Well, I mean, he was, he's, he's got a lot going on. Oh, yeah. We got Combust, Freight Train, Discontent, Gloves Off, and uh, Blackest Dawn and Tear Gas. Nice. We'll yeah, put all these these names in the description, I'm sure, of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Demise, first live show in over three decades. So. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's the band right before Fury. How do you feel about stuff like that? What? Like, say. You were super into a band when you were a kid because 30 years ago we were kids. Mm -hmm. Some of us were babies. Not all of the time, but sometimes. Do you feel like uh, it's sad when you see them 30 years later? Uh, I do get pumped for some good. If they're not good, it's probably sad, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like Like I I saw. It's like a money grab sometimes, just, you know? Yeah, that's what I feel like. Everybody wants to see the old shit. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy how some of these bands like the longer they hold out, the more money they get. You know? <laughs> yeah. If they're like a band that somebody wants to see and shit, yeah. So 
what do you know of any bands like i don't know if, i don't know if you want to if you want to like actually say it and call these bands out but are there any bands that you've noticed that over the years have fallen off and have, are, fall into that category where they're just like trying to get money uh, i mean everybody comes back you know eventually for that i don't know if it's the money they're chasing or the the fame that they didn't get maybe when they're younger and oh okay because you know it's addicting music and obviously booking shows is addicting too I feel like it's gambling sometimes after I'm like, fuck these shows. And then uh, all of a sudden I get pulled back in, you know? Right on. Like right now the scene is fucking uh, in an upswing. There's a bunch of young kids that are coming out to every show. So it's like easy to book a show when everybody comes out, you know? That's good. It's like try booking a show when it's like pulling nails to get everybody to come. And you're like, fuck. But it wasn't that long ago that it was like that. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. I mean, I stopped for a while. Took a break. Yeah. I burned myself out doing it then too, you know? And then I was neglecting my real money making shit making merchandise and shit you know right of course i love shows though so and every time i'm like nobody's fucking booking anything good so then i fall back into it again I'm like, All right, like uh, let me show these fools how to book yeah. a show <laughs> do you have a short list of your personal favorites that you're you're always hit up oh bands and shit yeah 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 i mean obviously like i always book mortician anytime they ask me so they they play jersey or new york like two or three times a year and they always sell the place out you know we just had them at salties with bulldoze and that was like uh over 300 people came it was nuts i was nervous too i was like fuck i need it like almost like 250 to break even and over 300 came so we were good and that's but, a lot uh, of people for that room yeah and uh, that's a lot of people for yeah, that room it didn't uh until like four days before i only had like 60 tickets sold so i was nervous as fuck mm -hmm. But then right before the doors, I was at like 190. So I was like a little relieved. And then we got all the walk-ups in it. Did you, you guys, ever? Go ahead. I was, you guys play in the back area, right? Yeah, the big room, yeah, for that one, yeah. Did you ever, like, what was the, what's your biggest memory of booking a show where you thought, like, this many people were going to come out, but then, like, a ton more people came out than you ever expected? Oh, uh, like, either Municipal Waste or Jedi Mind Tricks when I was doing shit at, uh, uh, the Carney Irish. Okay, it was like a local spot, but it held like four hundred people. Municipal Waste is uh our buddy Kevin Kraft's absolute favorite band. Oh yeah, yeah. He goes oh, to see them every chance he gets. Oh, those are my, they're my homies too because I made merch for a uh, cannabis corpse all the time, and yeah, that's Phil yeah. is in uh Municipal. Oh, too. that's fucking. And sick. I know Dave Whitty is a Jersey guy. I knew him for a minute too, but uh, they put me in their video. I was in one of their videos. Really? Yeah, it's uh. Tony, the singer, he's driving a cab around New York and all different people are getting in the cab. And I get in and I'm wearing all too many blunts and I smoke like fucking five joints <laughs> in the <front. laughs> And they had like a smoke machine too to make it worse. So we were right. like really gagging from the... I was gagging because I was smoking five joints, but he was just getting the secondhand <laughs> smoke. Right. So they have those parts in the video too of us coughing and shit. That's dope. Right? It's pretty oh, yeah, cool. Five though. joints is a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. How many... Uh, how many... Blunts is too many blunts. You can never have too many blunts. You know? That's just, that, that's I how the song the right goes. Answer. That's how the rap song goes. <laughs> right on. I was like, Wes, make me a, a theme song. And that was the hook. He's like, you can never have too many blunts. He has a, one whole verse. He's just singing about cigars. I called it too many. The reason I named it too many blunts is because I used to smoke only blunts. And I can't anymore. Shit killed my asthma and shit. You know? Right. I can still smoke a hundred joints, but you know, <laughs> I made it too many joints shirt has a wizard. I'm going to, I want to eventually make him as the, the, you know, the other mascot to him. It's a wizard with his mouth full of joints. Okay. Sick. And we got a too many dabs. No Ooh, way. We only have one shirt so far. It has Mr. Miyagi and Daniel's son on it. And he's uh, doing a dab with the chopsticks. Stop. That's great. And there's a bunch of flies <laughs> stuck in the wax. I, I think, have those. I think there is. A you, got those, you got those for sale over there? They're tonight? not with me today, but I have them at the house. I'm, I don't think we grabbed I, them. Uh, yeah. But the second Too Many Dab shirt, we have the art right now. I can show you the art, but I don't have it printed yet. It's the that sticker with the dude from fucking Twilight Zone with the big head. It's like that's how you feel when you smoke the dabs and shit. Your head gets all fucking big. You know? So we have the drawing of that. It says too many dabs. I love doing dabs. You do. I do. I love it. Yeah. Chris almost killed himself with the dab machine. <laughs> it's in the closet right now. It's like safely packed away. We're doing a, a shirt, too many blunts with the dude from Basket Case. Uh, Buzz is doing it. It didn't get colored yet, but it's fucking uh, the dude Dwayne Bradley with a. Uh, that's cool. The bets are smoking uh, together. That's so cool. <laughs> so that'll get that's a deep up. cut. He was just, we just had him as the 
the special guest at the Mortician Bulldoze over here at Salty's too. Really? So you can meet him for like uh, 40 bucks and get your picture with him and shit. It was cool. That's he awesome. He made a bunch of money. I like had a guarantee that he made, you know, a certain amount, but mm-hmm. he made it, so. And he does a lot of cons and shit. He does like Yeah, I mean, he's, he's also in his 70s, so he doesn't do too many, but. I met him once and he liked edibles, so we became friends. And then, uh, <laughs> I went up to his, uh, he's a stone carver by trade. His friend just got him into these movies. He was only in the, the Basket Case movies and then that, uh, some other crazy movie. He was just did a cameo of his guy, uh, Brain Scan, I think it was called. I don't meet a lot of people that know that movie. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I know the movie. Oh, case. dude. Yeah. Uh, so when you said Basket Case, I thought of Green Day. No, it's an old horror movie and uh, he's. Uh, He's did the, the he had a twin brother that was like attached to him, but he was just like a little blob, <laughs> and they cut him off, and then he carries him around in a basket. Yeah, and, he, and, and, and he's got to keep it locked, or people always get nosy and try to open it because he, he moves into him. a he moves into this fucking like shitty hotel in New York back <laughs> yeah. in the seventies. You know, it's like a real ratchet place. There's like hookers and shit in there, so nobody can mind their own business, and they always open it up. They and open get, the shit, and get fucking killed. eats you. Yeah. Wait, the kid, the the brother who eats the people? Yeah, he goes nuts. Oh, yeah. okay. And at one time he gets out of the basket, him. and it's like, you know, back in the 70s, sev- it was like 79 or something. It's 78, like super man. butch league uh, animatronics. Yeah, he's like wrecking, <laughs> he wrecks the uh, hotel room, and he's in there by himself, and he's like pissed. And uh, <laughs> yeah, he just starts yeah. smashing all the furniture and shit. It's crazy looking because it's like a little blob, a little dude. Blob. You know? <laughs> don't open it. But yo, that dude, looks like- this dude, Kevin Van Henterick, that's how you say his name, he, uh, He's a sick ass uh, stone carver. That's what he loves to do. He carved like this little girl's grave for like eighteen years. He did a a, a thing at a, a ski resort. It's huge. It's like a lady holding a thing, and uh, it took him like twenty something years. He was going there and carving this thing. That's, you know? And he just, teaches the classes. Dude, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's what? the guy from the horror movie. Oh, okay. He's okay. the star. Yeah. Interesting. But he teaches classes for free too. He gets like a the fucking uh, county sponsors it and shit. They pay for him, you know. And then he just. People could go up there and learn how to fucking carve little things and shit. Carve yeah. stones. Yeah, he's That's a cool dude. Cool. He's like a hippie. He's up. It's up by like Woodstock, New York. Okay. So we went up there and chilled with him during That's Corona and brought him some day. punch bars. You know yeah. I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's de- I mean, it's definitely how they did it back in the day. Yeah. But back to basket case, real quick. Go to ahead. to to be- be- best explain the little blob. He looks like. Can almost looks like meaty from uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> yeah, right? okay. a little misshapen though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. See, I was like envisioning like a Quado type situation. It's cool though. They yeah, show yeah, you yeah. like when he gets the operation, he's like he doesn't want to be separated from. Him. Hmm. They're like, nah, that's sweet. Cut him. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> not now. It's not now my you body. have homework. Yeah, he, he carries him some... in a wicker basket so with a lock on it. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> That's safe. That's secure. <laughs> yeah. Good thing they was... put this lock on this wicker basket. <laughs> yeah, he's like traveling around on the train and shit because he's walking around. Remember New York and shit. He's in like the gritty New York City times. Oh, that's wow. why the the movie's sick too because the it's a, just the whole backdrop of everything oh, right is, looks like taxi driver. Yeah, you know? yeah. And so, he stays in a little shitty place like that too, like the hotel. It's great. It's pretty cool. Might have to look into that. It's definitely awesome to watch. Yeah, yeah movie I, review. Honestly, on the part way. two and part three, I can't even remember. I watched them, but I, I didn't even know that those existed. Yeah, That's I crazy. think they were so terrible, I forgot them. But I'll watch them again one day. Yeah, I, I, I would <laughs> check them out. <laughs> so, what are your five top five like underrated good horror movies? I don't know, man. It's hard to put somebody on the spot like that. Yeah, I mean, we're talking what, horror my, like, movies. My favorite I, movies or just like... Yeah, I mean, they could be your favorites. My favorites are like, you know, of course, The Thing. I have a fucking poster signed by everybody in The Thing. This dude sold me. Like, he, he's one of the dudes that gets the stars for the, the events. Mm. Okay. And uh, it took him 10 years to make these posters. And he, he knew I loved that movie, so he sold it to me for a good price. Nice. And I was like, yo, can I buy another one at that? Somebody was trying to buy mine. He's like, nah. He's like... I'm keeping the rest of those. I'm selling them for a lot of money. I hooked you up. I was like, oh, nice. Thank nice. you. Yeah, but yeah. it has, you know, everybody. Uh, Carpenter, uh, Kurt Russell, uh, Wilford Brimley, rest in peace. You know, mm-hmm. it has everybody except oh, nice. for the one dude that died in like the 84. Uh, Charles Hallahan. He was like the dude, the Blair monster guy. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, man, that's like my prize. I'm building a Dust Till Dawn poster right now. I go to all these fucking events and people pass away and I'm like, fuck, I've got a picture with that lady drinking a beer, but I never like should have had her sign like a, on the same thing. I'm addicted to getting them all on the same poster now, you know? Yeah. So yeah, I have a Dustal cool. Dawn signed by fucking uh, Cheech Marin, 
like all the I I had to mail it out for two for I got uh Harvey Keitel and Selma Hayek. Awesome. I mailed it out and got them. Uh but like certified and all that shit. Do they personalize it or they it's just their No, just their shit, yeah. Yeah, because it's it ain't yeah, worth it. Yeah, if it's signed. Yeah, I like I mean, sometimes it. they force you to personalize it, but uh it hasn't been the case so far. But we got uh t- I got personally then I got Tom Savini, Cheech Marin, uh Danny Trejo, uh Frank Williams, the black dude. Is that his name? Williamson. Fred Williamson, I'm sorry. Uh who else did we get? Oh, Greg Nicotero. He's the he was like the he worked with Tom Savini. But he was in the they were sitting together when Tom Savini had the gun on his thing. But that dude did all the walking dead zombies and shit. He's like super famous too. Yeah, I got that's how many I think I got all those people so far. Now I I'm gonna get Juliet Lewis, but she fucking was around and she didn't she had to cancel because she was doing a TV show. But she'll she'll be back soon. Hey, when that happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get that get her on <laughs> schedules. It. Yeah. Dude, I'm tripping right now, dude. Every so often the light hits you and you look a certain way, you look like my cousin. It's <laughs> bugging me out. How about that, Gutter? Are you his cousin? I don't know. I don't maybe. So. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Twenty three and me it. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind, and it would make sense. <laughs> you could be cousins. For now, argument, you could be cousins. So, cousins. so give us another one of your favorite horror movies. Horror movies? Uh, I love Street Trash. Oh, hell yeah. Never heard, never <laughs> oh, heard of it. No? He's going deep that's cuts. A, that's a crazy one. This dude finds this old fucking uh, that ooze. dude in a fucking uh, works at a liquor store. And he breaks a hole in the wall and finds like an old case of wine. He starts selling it to all the bums for a dollar a bottle. And it like <laughs> okay. melts you when you drink it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of it's a real graphic, you know. Everybody one dude drinks it on the toilet and he melts down into the toilet. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty cool. See, it's funny. Like I I I would probably never watch any of these movies, but like hearing the plots of them described to me, uh, I could just I could just li- listen to that for hours. The seventies yeah, yeah. and the early eighties had some gems. Yeah, Motel right. Hell. That's another great one. Mm-hmm. Motel Hell. Yeah, this dude was. Fun. I was, you know, when I saw this movie as a little kid on a late late movie on Channel Seven, they used to just like play this shit like three in the morning, right? And I was like, holy shit! <laughs> like this dude was taking people and burying them up to their heads and cutting their vocal cords, and he was making them into meat and selling it to all the people. But he had a hotel too, though. So he had a hotel and he also sold like, he's like, people meat. It takes all kind of critters to make Farmer Vincent's fritters. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like laying on the side of the highway, like shooting people's tires out and fucking, when they crash, like taking them and shit. Wow. But he keeps them alive to get their, their, their you know, meat like, good. Yeah, I guess their body gets soft when he puts it in the dirt for long. But then before he kills them, he shows them like <laughs> it's so like seventies. It's like these spinning lights, and they get like all mesmerized. And then he just has all nooses around her neck, and he drives the tractor real fast and breaks all their necks. What? And then just pulls them out, and then brings them in the thing to smoke them. You ever see oh Mother's Day? Yeah, I can yeah. Adley. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's a crazy. movie. That's a crazy movie. That's real crazy. That dude, you want to talk about like egregious scenes oh, like no. it's that kind of Yo, movie that, uh, that. you know it's fucked up like uh back in the day i just had my mom let me get a a video card and i rented like every fucking horror movie in the section eventually that know? was like my that was pretty so much my babysitter vhs tapes and the, shit was the movie store yeah. Yo, the babysitter that i had uh took me to my first movie ever because my house was right across the street from a movie theater and the first movie i ever saw as a kid was maniac Sick. <laughs> I remember when I was and, uh, six years old. She kept old. covering my eyes with a fucking snow hat, but I could see through it. So. <laughs> and I was fucked up from that too. I seen all people getting fucked because he was like hacking all these people. Uh, yeah, yeah, that movie was nuts. The yeah. first movie I distinctively remember seeing. I was six years old. My cousin was babysitting me. She put me in a room and put The Exorcist on. Oh shit! So that to was, this yeah, day, that's, that's really the only movie. How old were you? Still, six. Oh my god. To this day, that's the only movie that still kind of flinches me a little bit. <laughs> oh, when I was younger, Did, I was like the Leprechaun and Chucky when I was like five. That was messed up. They're the same size. Oh, as those you, always made me laugh. Those always. I kind of wanted yeah, to be Chucky's already. friend. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was scared of all the like the Omen and Exorcist and all that shit as a kid. Hell yeah. They used to force it on us too. They wouldn't make us watch it. Like the my my mom and everybody was getting wrecked. They're like, yeah. <laughs> We're like, oh shit. Dude, you might be related to me, man. Like, seriously. <laughs> Dude, seriously. 
the kids, guys, <laughs> guys are gonna, it's only horror movies are only scary when you're a kid anyway. So yeah. Cool. Yeah. You know, vending all these horror conventions, I, I meet, you know, it's mad people with their families just getting their kids into the same addictions they got. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you can buy all this stuff and meet yeah, all the cool. people and shit, you know? Some of the cons are really cool. They're fun. Yeah, they they do Monster Mania. The one you were referring to before is the 420 Expo. Yeah, 420 Expo at Edison. Yeah. We should try Mania. to we should try to get uh, a pass and like do a, like a media pass. Yeah, or something. Be, I can know. give you an email to talk to somebody. Oh yeah, yeah. Ooh, we'll do that off the air. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. To me, thank you. Yeah, they're cool as hell over there, man. They're, like I said, I'm hopefully I'm gonna help with the entertainment this year. Nice. Even if I get a few, they let me do one thing. You know? Right. Yeah, I was over there. I filmed, uh, I guess, the one time that I saw you. Yeah, yeah. I was filming for uh, somebody over there. So, I mean, I'm not a stranger. Yeah. Necessarily, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, it would be very cool. If we yeah, it's a really cool event. Over yeah. There. yeah, I went. It was fun. Yeah, I, did, I did great there. <laughs> I, I, I was there. You know, the first one, This I already did two. You know, the first one I did, uh, it like rekind- it lit a fire under me again for the Too Many Blunts because I brought every Too Many Blunt shirt I had, even like, like ones I only had a few left, you know? Right. And uh, I sold so much. Like, people were just buying them like crazy. And uh, it's a sick. I was like, holy it's shit. It's finally design. the people, like, are yeah. like, holy they shit. They get it. You know? They like, finally get it. So, so, I'm like, holy shit. I got to make some of these again. Now. So, yeah. was it a situation where, like, you launched it and then it just kind of, like, fell? F- like, what was, what was, I mean, the- you know, it's, it's always a slow roll, you know? Like, it doesn't just happen overnight. Sometimes, maybe for certain people, it might put a, uh, it's like, yeah, overnight success only took fucking 10 years, you know? <laughs> right. So, like, how long was it before, like, between when you released it till that point? Uh, too Many Blunts started, like, 2012, 2013. So you were talking legitimately, like, 10 years. Yeah, yeah. And then finally you're like, damn, okay, wow. Yeah, like, shit that was sitting so in the just, basement for five years, people were, like, snatching up. I was like, well, this You're is just awesome. ahead of your time. That's, that's, that's Yeah, yeah, it's catching up now. Like, everybody's, like about trees you know so yeah everybody that sees the designs they always you know they like it you know they want them right yeah it's tough to getting them in front of people sometimes yeah so what about like because i know the i give I, for free to anybody that smokes weed are these famous people with the horror things that's smart like you always hook them up like give right. them free shit you know that's definitely smart. i would get this tattooed that's tough oh yeah i got it I never got a color because that fucking spot sucked. But. Yeah. <laughs> it looks good black, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes it looks better just fucking outlined. Yeah. yeah. Chris still has yet to get the, I was just gonna the say, podcast. Yeah. Logo. Yeah. I, I was, I said, did I say something last night? So where Probably. should I get it? You said a lot of stuff last yeah. night. Face. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Yo, show, show him the face tattoo you just got. Dude, that is so cool. Mars Attack. My homie uh, Muki from Japan did it. Okay. It was the second Mookie. time seeing her. Uh, I've only seen her one other time when she was here, you know? But mm-hmm. always been in touch on the internet and shit. So she's coming back from Maryland Death Fest. She's going to try to stay an extra week and tattoo people. Because uh, we partied so much. She only tattooed me and my uh, and Seb from Dripping. Okay. So she's got like she still has she's sick, a, though. a yeah, client we list. Yeah, yeah mad it's, people want to get tattooed. It's incredible. <laughs> I want to try to get a close-up picture of it after we're done oh, here. Yeah. um she did my ribs too she's mars did, uh, attack the what are they called those the, the ak ak the people. martian the mar just the martians yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what it is that's it's fucking we're incredible people that's amazing <laughs> that's mars amazing people, yeah. i love that yeah, yeah i love horror shit yeah yeah i've that I, growing up that's all i did was watch horror movies like you so know look, watching right. this uh terrifier people man like I've seen them the whole time. You know, they're always at the things, chilling and shit. Mm. But now it's like the bigger the movie got, the like more people want to. It's like these people were around them all this time. And now, yeah, now that the movie's wanna, hot. Now yeah. they're, they're lying. I was like, all right. It's like they deserve it, though. Like, yeah, he's cool. been, he's OG. Yeah. Uh, they came at the right time. They needed a new slasher. You know, like uh, they're killing it. They're going to have part three coming out now. What's this? Terrifier. Oh, Terrifier. Yeah. I'm. I don't know anything about it. I want to try to get in one of them. They're like, yo, let me get in there so I can sit and sign autographs and not have to carry all my toys and shirts to the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a clown. Okay. He yeah, doesn't Black talk. and white. And he, 
the movies are black and white? No, no, no. His, his colors white. are black his, and yeah, white. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah. yeah whatever He's works. Sick. And you're He's saying it's a, new, it's a new franchise. It's fresh yeah. for the most part. And, and it it's does good. like practical kills instead of like CGI, you know, like. Oh. So they actually kill the people. Yeah, use props. But this guy has been dressing like that at cons for years prior to this franchise even happening. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he's saying. Like now, people all want to like get his attention. Wait, and, like, so he was pictures. just going to the conventions dressed like? Well, a yeah, clown? he was in a he was in some other movie first before it was Terrifier. I forgot the name of it, but he just they had a cameo, I think, of him only. But then he made his own movie. He ultimately did make the own the own movie. Now. They made that's, one of them. Yeah. That's interesting story. Now, it's cool. It kind of got me back in. At first, I was like, man, terrifying. Yeah, to whatever. Do- they're and killing it now, though, too. Yeah, they got a, like, like a big budget. Huh. It's probably going into movies, this third one. Yeah. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah, Just small like, guys making it. I forgot what they're called. Uh, Fuzz on the Lens, maybe? Hmm. It's the dude, Damien Leone is the director. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Never heard of any of this. But like, that's not my zone, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not like into the... The horror movies thing but another thing that's not in my zone but i know that is kind of in your zone because you were talking about like uh signatures that you have and stuff like that and all the other memorabilia and whatever is like the serial killer stuff oh yeah i used to collect a lot of it yeah you know you don't do that as much anymore. Uh, nah, i have a bunch still just because nobody wants to pay what i want to get rid of it for but uh gotcha not actively looking for it really anymore right on but uh i've had mad shit come through my hands and then you know so i had mad john wayne gacy stuff I had a, one of his paintings. Hmm. I have uh, his books. All his shit sold right away. I still have a Ted Bundy autograph on okay. a Florida court document. I got a charge Charles Manson got in jail for not locking in. It was signed by him. I got. I was pen pals with Richard Ramirez for a bunch of time. For oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. I wrote all of them, but he was the only one that wrote back. And then I had my like ex girlfriend writing them. And uh, he was more receptive to women, so he would send her, like, artwork, and she would just keep the letter, and I'd take the artwork, too, so i have a bunch of his shit. Hmm. That's Well, awesome. yeah, I mailed him a money order one time, and then he wrote back. I was like, oh, shit, he wrote back. <laughs> <you know? laughs> sent him, like, 20 bucks, you know? Interesting. And I was like, you want a picture? He's like, yeah, send- he wanted pictures of women's feet, but I sent him pictures of, like, shows. Okay. But I sent him pictures of, like, you know, people at shows, too, so, you know, chicks and everything nothing crazy though no feet or anything <laughs> <laughs> but you know uh one time i sent him like fucking 100 pictures and then he mailed it back and said he could only sent him like 10 at a time huh. so i would just send him like 10 pictures you know but i was taking pictures with fucking uh disposable camera you know right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i was just like just showing him what was going on and shit yeah interesting that's pretty cool i think I- it kept him like interested because everybody else is probably just fucking yo they just want the letter you know People get addicted to that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I was writing all of them. I was hoping they would all write back. Nobody wrote back besides him, though. Yeah. But I was reading all the books about all of them. That's why I was like, it's super into it. And uh, at the time, this lady had a museum, and she had so much shit, and I was buying it off her. I had a good job. I was working at a head shop, and uh, the dude from Corn was buying the shit up faster than I could. She was like, going out of business. I was like, fuck. <laughs> and I gave the lady like 10 G's already I was so mad I was like this bitch bro She couldn't hold it like another week you know? Oh wow But he got all the <laughs> sick shit too Which, forgot, It was like an original mugshot of I forgot who it was Boston Strangler son. That's Jonathan Davis right Yeah yeah he got all the shit Yeah he he's bought, a freak he brought the lady like that out. he loves Yeah this lady was going into business with uh, Gunnar Hansen Was the leather face he's passed no away too No way uh, They were going to start selling movie uh, Memorabilia Okay. So she was. She had a a sick crime and serial killer museum up in upstate New York. And then she just went out of business and sold everything. So that's where I got some of my Gacy shit from her too. But uh, yeah, that's all long sold now. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like I said, I got that. I still got a. I might have some other shit like like smaller people, Arthur Shawcross, a bunch of weird. Thing. I have a John Gotti autograph still because I love gangster shit too. Uh, yeah, that's why I read now like gangster books. Mm-hmm. I only like reading like true story shit, you know. So I read like every fucking serial killer book of inter- famous people and shit, you know. Yeah, yeah. I always find the like I I I don't have like I don't read you know very much. Honestly, it just like takes too much time for me. But I, I do like the documentaries. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So I, I'll, I'll check out. I'll, I'll eat up a few documentaries. Yeah, I watch them because they got them about everybody at this point. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. They've seen me try to attempt to read. It's, it's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a dumpster fire. Yeah, it's not the strongest. We're we're, we're not the smartest group, but, <laughs> but we like to have fun. Cloud it burns. It's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly we like to have we like to have a good time yeah we sure do so let me ask you this question because there's one thing i want to talk about we got close to the subject earlier but i want to circle back to it because i think it's very cool and i think you've been doing it for a long time right it's like every year you do uh a couple of different shows for a couple of different benefits like you said you do sometimes that are just like oh yeah do a, that i also do blue. a toys for tots every year that's what i wanted to talk about yeah yeah that was like the first show i started as soon as i started doing shows i was like you want to do some shit like that you know so talk about that tell we've been doing it like every year you know like your toys your ticket kind of deal uh yeah yeah we just get bands to play for free and then uh uh you just gotta uh bring a toy to get in i forget what year it's up to i want to say 14 that's rad yeah so every I'm year, fly right now, fucking right on. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna. If you have a chance to give me the the address, even if you don't have it in your phone right now, uh, we'll put that information on the screen and stuff. Okay. But, uh, but um, yeah, every year they do a show. The bands donate their their performances, mm-hmm. and then you know the like you said, everybody brings a toy, and then he donates toys. And he's been doing it. I mean, I've known Gutter for at least ten years. And he's been doing it for at least that long because he's done, he's been doing it since long before he knew me, you know. Yeah, uh, last year was the fifteenth year. There you go. Wow. So wow. this year, this year right will on. be what year is this? Two thousand twenty-four. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be the sixteenth year. Sixteen wow. years. Yeah. Right now, like uh, ever since COVID, though, uh, we used to give it to this children's hospital, uh, in uh, Newark, Beth Israel. Okay. And now they didn't want to take it anymore. They want it like uh, they didn't, you know, because uh, Corona, you know. They wanted it, like, donated through Amazon or some shit, like, people to order ahead of time. It would have never worked, you know? Right. So uh, I just started going to my local, like, Facebook pages and asking people if they needed help with the kids. And, man, people hit us up. So we ended up helping families directly. That's oh, my awesome. God. We really? gave every That's kid, awesome. like, a, a whole garbage bag of toys, too, because we got, you know, we were getting so many toys, you know? Really? That's and we'd awesome. only help, like, we awesome, helping, like, 15, uh, you know, 10, great. 15 families. Wow. But make sure every kid got like fucking like a whole fucking garbage bag, you know? Right. So not just one. He was like, here you go. Right on. So people were like, oh shit. That's pretty great. That's Merry great. Christmas. Good luck to you. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. It was yeah. cool though. It felt good. Like, uh, you know, cause it always feels good doing it no matter what, you're not really there for, you know, that, that kind of thing. But just to see, like, I still didn't see the kids get it, but the family, like when you give it to them, like mm-hmm. the, they asked, you know, like, so they probably were hurt and, you know, like, People don't usually want to be like, I mean, I don't know. People probably would take advantage of some people, but. It's tough to ask. Too. Yeah, most people, you know, it was it's every time it ask. seemed like it was a, a single mother mm-hmm. that we were helping most of the time, like 90% of the time. Okay. So it was cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so awesome. you'll get me the information when it is. And we'll, yeah, yeah. We'll Christmas time. We always it do oh it. Oh my God. Yeah. I'll, I'll start announcing it in like November. Right on. 16th year. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's very cool. It's one of those. It's one of those things where it's like, wow, you know, this is better than anything that I do all year long. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> it sucks that it only happens around like the holidays. People get like the spirit, you know. Yeah, but, but it has a like. Uh, it's one show that I can always like. I don't have to worry about it, you know. And uh, everything is good, you know. Like everybody's there for a good time, and mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. we're doing a good thing and chilling, you know. Like right on. I throw like I don't throw shows to make money. I mean. Sometimes I do make money on them, but uh, I throw them so everybody can get together, have a good time, and we see, like, cool-ass bands, you know? I'm only booking shit I want to see pretty much, you know? I'm not really, like, booking, like, you know, anybody that's, like, hit me up, like, hey, I got this band. I'm like, eh, I'm good, you know? Like, right. <laughs> it's a special occasion. Yeah, it's I'll pass it on to the bar if you want, but I really don't have time to book, like, that. I don't even want to book the shows I want to see sometimes. I'm like, all right. <laughs> but, you know, with, like I said, the scene right now is in an upswing, and it's fun to book them right now, like. So what, enough people come out. If enough people pay, I can pay the bands and everybody's happy and the show runs so much smoother. I'm able to, at this point, I'm, I never was able to, like, I pay a door guy. I pay a guy to stand by the stage and make sure the bands are switching and shit, you know. I never, 
I would just try to handle all that myself, you know, the show right. was going bad or I have one of my friends like, yo, you got to do this. You know? Did you have to pay a sound tech and stuff like that? Uh, this, yeah, well, that's included. No, uh, you got to pay the club. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing like right now too. Like Jersey, I got better hookups, but for Death Fest in New York is going to cost me almost three times the amount per day. Just because in, of the venues? Brooklyn, yeah, it's a big And they're place. probably union, right? I don't know. what is that? No, nah, I don't think so, but it's just... They just gouge you out there, you know? Yeah. 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 But it's a big spot, and I'd, it'll turn it, you know? So it's just like you've got to share, like, that much of your money with them before you can, like, make sure all these... I'm trying to pay people flying in and shit, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's... It's like, yo, it's, give us the first fucking, you know, cut. <laughs> so shout out some good local uh, venues that are around here. Oh, sh at Jersey? Right I mean, now, obviously we got Salty's right in yeah, town. Yeah, Salty's is sick. Uh... I had two shows there already, and today I'm vending. I'm not, it's not my show, I'm just vending. But uh, they're having, they got mad awesome shows about be lining up over there. But uh, up by me, we, I'm back doing ding bats. I do stuff at Meat Locker. Meat Locker's an amazing place. It's like, uh, I call it the New Jersey CBGBs. It's like okay. a basement venue it's great yeah i've been there i shot a couple there. music videos there it's yeah. climby as hell but <laughs> it's like, the vigilante video it's there. real yeah yeah and hammer fight probably too yeah right? definitely yeah it's a good spot it's still going man it's crazy yeah and it probably doesn't look any different than it used it's to a little bit cleaner actually this wow. one dude that works there now they clean the place up real good all right okay i mean it's still a you know, dingy basement but it's cleaner you know cool cool and uh it's more packed than it's ever been like i said like these, every good. show is like home run right now see everybody having you know that's all the nice. promoters are doing good everybody's got you it's know. nice to see that there's that live music live yeah these kids like that got is, money is and they're coming out and supporting the music you know and live original music yeah. that's the key like, yeah yeah i agree i'm so that's tired rough. of hearing all the the cover bands and dude the cover just, bands get paid more than somebody's original bands sometimes yeah yeah especially in new jersey i areas. couldn't stop laughing they were telling me the prices sometimes i was like what yeah it's like, yeah, they want 3000 for one night. I was like, a cover band? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, but they draw. I'm like, who the fuck comes to that? And they play, and there's like fucking 100 people there. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's just the average random person yeah, just wants they to just hear want the radio to, hits. Yeah, that's crazy to me. What are good, some good bands that you can that you can shout out that people might not have heard of that they could, could they could go and check out? Uh, and I'm always looking for new music to listen to. You should so. check out this band Exit. They just opened for the, the Death Fest for me. They're a hardcore band, though, but they're sick as fuck. From Jersey and Philly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just called Exit Hardcore. You could probably look it up at. Uh, what do you call this play tonight? Blackest Dawn. Chris's new band is sick as fuck. They're like a, like an all-out war type of hardcore. You know? Okay. Mm -hmm. Like death metal, borderline. They were on my fest too. Right on. Uh, I don't know who else, man. I'm stoned. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. That's cool. That happens when you come here. More yeah. will come to me as I'm sitting here. Yeah. yeah. Right on. Right on. But, yeah. Oh, you got to check out Wes Niles on the shit gang time. Oh, yeah. We've been trying to... Uh, I think we're going to book Wes, Wes on the show. Word. Yeah. He, yeah, he's uh, down. He'll do it. I've been talking to him a little bit on Instagram. We, I tried to get him in here today, but he couldn't make it yeah, in today. Yeah, works. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we're going to get him to come in, too. He's a local rapper. Okay. Rapper... Yeah. Uh, hardcore, he does it all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's like one of my good boys too. Man. Like I know him since he's a kid. Yeah, I I only know him through your like social media posts right. and stuff. Yeah, um, he's the one that made the too many blood song too. Yeah, right on. Yeah, this is another band though. It's like a two man band. It's him and a guitar player, Razorblade. Gang time. Yeah, and they have like a drum machine. It's sick. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's if you look up Gang Time Machine, YouTube, you can find it too. I think it's on Spotify too. Right on. I'm yeah. definitely gonna check it out. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like punk rock, hardcore, like fast. It's cool. Awesome. That's it's dope. Like, gang time. That's dope. It's gang time. Gang I feel like that's time, like an huh? anthem for something. Is Vigilante doing anything, or you got you guys just like we did that one show? Uh huh. Everybody got back. It was they talk about it. We'll see. You know, everybody was actually except for Dan. I know the drummer wasn't there either. It was just like me, Ruben, and Neil were all at uh, the fest though. Mm -hmm. They came out. You know. Nice. So it was cool to see everybody. Nice. It's possible though, you know. Awesome. Awesome. Can't yeah, we just had somebody make a, a lyric video for one of the old songs too. Oh, so yeah. people thought it was like active again, you know. Right on. <laughs> I just wanted people like people like love the song now that they can read the lyrics. I'm like sometimes you just gotta show them, you know, like 
Right. That's the it's thing. really it, there's really words we're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know the way you sing it, it's sometimes it's hard to follow, but it's like I, when I heard uh, "Shatterproof" the first time, it took me a minute to catch everything. But I, when I caught it, I was like, "All right, that's pretty fucking funny." Yeah, good, it's about old good So yeah. you were the yeah. singer, clearly. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he filmed us going and buying fucking like five hundred dollars worth of forty ounces, <laughs> yeah. and then everybody. Uh, the show was funny because uh, it was all like my young friends and all my old friends, so. Everybody got mad drunk on malt liquor and fought each other the whole show. <laughs> and I was so all fucking bomb film, videotaping it. And uh, they're all coming up to me like, yo, man, these motherfuckers. I'm like, yo, I don't even know what to tell you guys right now. We're trying to film the video. I'm fucking <laughs> hammered right now. <laughs> I was smoking a, a blunt, like this big, like a joint. And shit. Jesus. Like a giant oo-wop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, I tried not to get the fights. So I was like, that's probably good. My friends would probably be, yeah, I, my I, boy I getting punched in the face in the video. He'd probably be like, you're a dick. Why'd you make that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why'd you get back. that? Why, why'd you get it This guy was in the middle of it with his like, expensive camera. Everybody's attacking each other and throwing malt liquor everywhere. <laughs> He's yeah, like, yeah, I'm going to make uh, a video. <laughs> it was, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, you can pull it up here. It's awesome. <laughs> Yo, that liquor store, those those dudes love me, man. I always they get my malt liquor. For <laughs> is that like price. is that like your I'll local? Bet. Yeah, we always go to them for the okay. malt liquor because he gives me a better deal when I buy like mad cases. Drinking it right outside the liquor store. <laughs> yeah, this was a fun time. This is the meat locker, so you can see okay. it in the background. Yeah, we had a girl all... just giving out the forties, but people were tipping her like she was a bartender. And at the end of the night, somebody stole the fucking tip cup from oh, her. Oh, no. And it was bad loot. Everybody hooked her up, too. He was like, damn, this cocksucker. So. Yeah, but you can't even have it. You can't even just have a good time. <laughs> no, there's always got to be that person. Yeah, I mean. You, you see people's faces. It's like, like what do you expect great. when you give people, like, a bunch of malt liquor and put them all in a room with each yeah, other? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's and I'm sure it was, Look like, a thousand degrees in that room. Yeah, it yeah. got a little crazy. Look, there goes the tip jar before it gets done. Oh, that's it's awesome. awesome. It's in the video. <laughs> R.I.P. tip jar. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Shout out. What was her name? Daniel. Yep. This was a fun. It was. I mean, it was a fun time. We had we had a good time. The video came out great. <laughs> um, except for the guys behind me that were punching each other. Oh, but that's fine. <laughs> that happens. It happens at a hardcore show. It was good. There you go. Yeah, you can see. Dude, that looks rad. It's a cool video, I right? I want to go to that bar. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not really a bar per a bar. se. It's, just, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's literally just, just, just like a, a venue. Basement. Just a venue. It's like a basement, cement basement room. It's yeah. all with all. It's uh, BYOB, but we don't ever it. usually put it on the flyer. You just like, no. When you get, okay. If not, when you yeah. get there, there's a liquor store up the block. Yeah. All right. All right. A DC in the city production. That's man. sick, dude. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yo, put on the Too Many Blunts video. Okay, hold on. A Let them see this. We were, that's the one I rolled the pound for. And it has Beasel Bud in it. Nice. In the Actually, the dude who's wearing it is one of my friends that passed away. Rest in peace, Rich. Oh, shit. Big Rich. You yeah, rolled a pound? One. Yeah. It took me a week to do it. I packed them. I made one three ounce joint and then 13 ounces in uh, one gram joints. Holy shit. If you look at, uh, across the room, gutter in the corner, that's, that's a half a pay. Oh shit! That's yeah, well, right? Is like it, half pound. I think he said it was a half pound. Yeah, what is it? Bronzed, gold, put gold, gold, gold yeah. beef on it or whatever. See Beasel butt sitting there at the table too. Yeah, there's the head. There, there's the head he was talking about. Oh Big hell so, yeah! Yeah, that's a three ounce joint on the table. We lit it, but it, it was like fucked up. So I just took it apart and made it into like fucking another hundred joints. Like, yeah, like the one that, that's here <laughs> is not smokable. Word, it was word. just like, it's filled with weed, but because of the way he had to build it, you just can't smoke it. Word, word. It's a trophy. It's cool. It's better. Yeah, yeah so that's Wes. We're going to try to bring him in as okay. well. Um, yeah, he kills it. Everybody's wearing too many blunt shirts in the video. Too. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the one that looks like the, the corpse comic is cool. Oh, yeah, Blood of the Dead, yeah. Yeah, I was in the. That looks like. Did you make that video too? This one? No, the hammer fight where I get bit by the zombie. Yeah, I made. Oh, that. Made that, that was the too, first video I ever made. Okay, okay. Yeah, that was. That's, yeah, that's what kind of started a me. Chain down this road. I got bit by a comic book, <laughs> yeah. and I turned into a zombie at the show. Yeah, it's the first music video I ever made. I oh, yo, put hooked. the, put that municipal waste video. 
uh, what's it called? Uh, this guy's been making bangers he, for years. I've been bad videos. <laughs> Crank the heat. I was just telling them the other day, like I low key want to be like in the background of like a, a show or a movie or even a music video. That would be fucking cool. I was in the Waking oh, Cadaver video like too with Schlack. I'm like, I, I don't drive and I had to drive the car. And then they don't even show me driving the car. I was like, what the fuck? Why'd you make me drive the car? <laughs> but I have a guy like tied up in the back and then I, I sell him. I give Schlack money and Schlack takes it. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Yo, uh, oh, Mutual Waste Dudes weekends. rule. They always shout me out when I'm like, it's at a Jersey show and shit. How come bands, like metal bands, make their logo so that you can't really read what it says? The dude from Sick of It All in the video, too. I don't know. It's like a, it's like a graffiti thing. You know, everybody has to make their shit like more illegible than the other. <laughs> you know? So you that woman outclass, reading the book had no oh, idea. There he is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see the tattoo perfectly. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> He's really coughing there too. That's funny. I was too because that fucking smoke machine thing was killing us. Too. <laughs> he drops me off when I look in the car. Oh my god! <laughs> nice. Oh, this song rules too. Yeah, I wish hey. we could listen to it. Dang you, know, you copyright you know song? laws. Yeah, I've heard it oh, yeah, several it times. Yeah. It, yeah. Oh yeah, they'll they'll cut the video. They'll pull the video yeah, before it even they, goes up. It depends, yeah, what we play. If, if they might ban the video or whatever. But yeah, like I said, uh our friend Kevin Kraft, he uh he lo- this is his favorite band, like Where? of his, of all time. I've been trying to get them to come play. Cause they did a show for me that one time. But they were just in the area too, so like we made it happen like within like a couple of weeks, and mm-hmm. uh, like four hundred people came out. It was crazy. That's cool. Yeah. So yeah. where are they from? I don't uh, know Virginia. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, mostly everybody's in Virginia, I think now. So maybe just like the party, singer might be even Florida, like even party now. metal. Party yeah, man. metal. Yeah. Okay. Like Phil, uh, he's in Mad Pants. He's in Iron Reagan and Cannabis Corpse. He has some other bands, a couple other new bands now that he told me. I saw, I looked at them, but I forgot the names right now. But uh, he stays busy, man. That guy's a touring machine. Amazing guitar player and shit, you know? Nice. Always uh, remembers to hit me up when he's around and like, yo, come party and shit, you know? Nice. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I made some, I made a cool, I made Cannabis Corp skate decks. Like oh, two yeah. different ones. I made a nice. a cool shirt that Zorno drew. It was a, a weed Godzilla smashing a cop car, and all the cops are like pointing a gun at him and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool. If you ever do it too many blunts skate deck, I would definitely buy one. Yo, I, I have one lined collection. up. I just never uh, printed them yet. The skate deck company's killing me right now. Right? I'm gonna uh, have to roll over to the show because I want to. I'm gonna definitely right. buy some merch. I want to buy. Some. I don't want. I don't want yeah. free stuff. I want to buy some merch from yeah, you. Come check it out for awesome. sure. Yo, the skate tech company right now, I got a 100 IRA decks and 50 Putra Pile decks that I paid for, like, in, like, November. They said it's going to be, like, four months. And now the lady just keeps being like, oh, they're going to mail any day now. Uh Uh-oh. I was like, I don't want to pull the fucking Maybe they're on that ship. Maybe they're on that ship. No, they they make them in freaking Cali. I was what you're going to hear now. I'm telling you, everything's on that ship. Everything that's not around is on that ship. It's on the ship, bro. We'll get it soon. Yo, Gutter, thank you very much for coming in, man. Definitely, man. Yeah, definitely, dude, it was man. an absolute I really appreciate pleasure. It. I knew. I was like, I got to get this guy. We've been talking back and forth about yeah, it for yeah, kind no, of a while. Fucked but up on the date. The one I know that too. it's like we, we're kind of far apart from each other geographically. This is gross as fuck to uh, Salty stuff. Yeah, Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. we're local. So, the, so here's what I'll say about that is that you now that- getting some music guests from over Right, here. now that we know that you are- I can are, look that up for you, too. That's what I'm saying. You're you guys are over there and you guys are doing your thing. If you are if you know you're gonna be at Salty's for a show, reach out to me. Yeah, be yeah. like, hey, I'll I'm gonna be in town. Exactly. I'm gonna here. be in town at Salty's. So and so's gonna be there. Do you want me to, you know, can we come over to the studio? We'll or, always say yes. Or, exactly. We'll I, like always, I said, I got beers yes. in there. Word, word. They're cold. Come on in, hang yeah, out, yeah, smoke good, some. Yeah, that's a perfect thing. Like go fucking promote yourself for a little while, then go play, you know. And right. now, like, I tell, not to cut anybody off, I tell everybody the same thing. Once you come to those doors and you sit down, you're, you're, you're family now. So the door is mm-hmm. always open. Yeah, and there's so much more, like, I know that, like, we basically touched on a little bit of, like, all the types of different shit that you're into and whatever, mm-hmm. but there's, like, 
obviously like multiple different roads that we could always go down. Not to mention the fact you could just come in and hang out. Because we play, we we play games. We do all sorts of crazy shit. We do watch movies. Sometimes we do movie nights. That's cool. If you're um, around for four twenty, we do. Well, we're doing a live show. I, I'd be shocked if he's not booked for four twenty. Yeah, I'm true, doing like true. all this like horror shit. Right on. But I'm supposed to be doing like a weed party at night. I don't know how I'm gonna. It's like that whole weekend. I'll maybe sleep like fucking three hours. I don't, <laughs> know, I don't know if it's possible, but I'm gonna try as many. I got my homegirl running a table for me at this like geek flea market that I do always in town. Okay. So I'll have her do that, and I'm going to do the horror thing during the day. But at night, I'm supposed to go to uh, Brooklyn and do like a, a weed party with uh, Danny Diablo. Oh wow, dude from uh, he's a, you know he raps, but he's also in Crown of Thorns and Scarhead. Right on. And uh, I make all his merch too, so awesome. I make a lot of shit for him. Um, so I'm going to try to go do that too, like have at their show. But I don't know. We'll see how, how right much on. I can do. Well, whenever, like I said, whenever you're here in town in Belmar, when you're, you're going to be at Salty's, reach out to me and we'll see if we can open it up for you guys. Yeah, yeah. That'd be yeah, cool. Yeah, it's about to yeah. hang when you're in yeah, town for sure. For sure. It's like, you know, there's, I don't think there's a green room over there. So come over yeah, here. Yeah, it's definitely cool to document more of these cool bands that we're bringing through. Yeah, too, we'd, be yeah. More, we'd be more than happy to do that. And then also, there's another. Uh, a couple friends of ours they're called the jersey shore musicians podcast mm-hmm. they're literally just like trying to get bands on their show nice. so i'd be happy to introduce you to them Word. and introduce other bands to them as well just like more their their whole purpose is to get a mouthpiece to try to amplify local, local yeah. bands yeah that's cool yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and they're exclusively original acts too so yeah Exactly. They're 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 just they're literally trying to promote local New Jersey musicians. So That's awesome. I'll be happy to introduce you yeah, guys. Yeah, man, I'm always down for helping people you know, yeah. bands out. Yeah. There Absolutely. you go. Yeah. And yeah. guys, all his information will be uh in the description below. Sure will. Uh you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all over social media at the Two Cloud of Mind Show. If you want to look at our faces while you watch this. Yeah, that made sense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, YouTube.com slash the Two Cloud of Mind Show. If you're weird and you just want to listen to us, anywhere you get your podcasts at the Two Cloud of Mind Show. Uh, stalk us individually. I'm at Little Guy Chris 28 DC in the city on all social media. Where can they find you, Gutter? Uh, GutterChristProductions.com or uh, Gutter the Christ on uh, Instagram. There you go. And Anthony, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. Yeah, anytime. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. We love you. Stay clouded.